Hello and uh, welcome to Kibrit uh, Training uh, Channel. We have a presentation uh, today uh, in the live uh, series about uh, Scriptella and uh, Kubrit. We'll show you what is uh, Scriptella, then we'll see what kind of support uh, Scriptella provides for Kubrit. And the rest of the presentation we will be running some uh, demos. We'll show you how Scriptella works uh, uh, together with uh, Kubrit. Let's take uh, first a look at the Scriptella uh, homepage. Here we are. Uh, Scriptella is an open source uh, application dedicated to performing uh, uh, ETL uh, tasks. ETL is an abbreviation from uh, Extract, Transform and Load. In simple uh, terms, um, there are many scenarios when you need to uh, extract data from uh, your, your database. Then you need to perform some uh, transformations according to some logic rules or um, some specific needs you have. And finally, you need to uh, put back uh, the data you have prepared uh, um, in the target uh, database. And this is what Scriptella is uh, all about, uh, about performing such uh, operations. Again, extracting data, transforming the data according to some rules, and then uh, load it uh, back. There are many uh, features implemented in Scriptella. Please uh, take your time and um, read all about it on the, on the website. Uh, in the documentation, you will see um, what is Scriptella uh, capable of. What is important for us is that uh, starting with version uh, 1.0, uh, uh, Scriptella has added support for uh, Kubrit. This means that uh, you don't need to, to go to the Kubrit website to uh, download uh, um, uh, the, the Scriptella along with the Kubrit support. Uh, all you have to do is to download the official uh, distribution and voila, you'll have uh, Kubrit support uh, uh, built in available. But we did uh, a little bit more. To help you fast start with Scriptella and Kubrit, um, we have prepared some uh, demo files. Um, um, there are uh, um, there are a few uh, um, uh, demo files uh, which shows you various basic operations in Scriptella. And uh, if you take a look at, uh, at them and uh, study them, um, you will uh, definitely learn how to use uh, Scriptella and Kubrit. Now, all these files are available from the Kubrit website in the uh, well-known Apps and Tools section. So go to that uh, section and download the demo files for using Scriptella and uh, Kubrit. Today we'll be running uh, 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 just three of these uh, demo files to show you only the, the basic uh, things. Uh, before we start, um, let's uh, see how we can uh, run uh, Scriptella uh, uh, files, Scriptella uh, scripts. Uh, this is how a Scriptella script looks uh, like. We have a specific uh, DTD show you the structure of such a file. In order to, to, to run them, then we have uh, uh, three um, options. We can use the provided Scriptella uh, command line uh, utilities. All you have to do is uh, to use it and pass as argument the name of the file. And this is what we will be doing today. The other option would be to go uh, on using ant. Uh, Scriptella has support for, for ant. And uh, the third way would be to, to run a Java program to call uh, um, uh, to execute the Scriptella, the Scriptella files. Before we we uh, um, uh, we start, there's uh, one more thing I like to mention. We have a separate presentation showing you how Scriptella and Apache DDL uh, utils work together with Kubrit to provide you a, a very nice way to perform database uh, migration. Let's start running uh, uh, the demo files uh, we have prepared for this session. The first file we'll be running is this etl uh, underline 01. Now this is a very simple file which uh, does create a table and insert uh, a value in, uh, in the table. 
how exactly uh, does Kitara knows where to connect to. We have this connection entry here and the properties are defined in the ETL01 uh, properties file. And uh, here we can easily recognize the standard uh, Kubrick GDBC um, uh, driver setup. So by running uh, this file, we'll create uh, in the demo DB uh, database the full table and insert one value. Now let's um, let's take a look in the uh, demo DB uh, database the tables which will be created in the uh, ETL uh, 01 uh, 02 script. Okay. Now our database is clean; does not contain uh, any tables generated by Scriptella. And now let's uh, execute our script ETL01 um, XML. And um, that's it. The script executed successfully. It's time to do a refresh in here. And here we are. This is the table we have uh, created. And uh, there's one value we have um, inserted. Okay, let's now move to a more complex um, example. This time we'll be running, uh, let's skip for now the ETL02, let's uh, go to ETL03. Now in this example we are performing um, a transformation of uh, the data, uh, not exactly um, a logical transformation, but um, a transformation regarding the output format. What we do right here is we select everything from uh, table name now, uh, this table name is defined as the nation table from the DemoDB database. And then we output these uh, columns in a comma separated value file. There is a special syntax for Scriptura to doing this. Again, take a look at the uh, documentation. Let's uh, run it. Oh, before this, uh, let's uh, delete the um, uh, existing file I have generated uh, uh, before and now let's run scriptella etl03 uh, uh, here we are and this is the file we have created uh, very easy we have the nation uh, data uh, outputted in a comma separated file let's try a more complex example now more in the spirit of uh, etl in, uh, in this scenario, in ETL02 file, we are creating an input table, an output table. We are inserting in the uh, input uh, uh, table some uh, startup uh, data. And then we are performing a transform. How are we transforming? When data has a value less than 5, the error code is set to warning. Otherwise, the error code is set to error. Now we select everything from table in. Remember the same table where we have inserted values one and seven. Performing the transformation, and in the end we select we insert into table out the value of the error code. This is a very simple example, but shows you uh, what does it mean an extract, transform, and load. We extract data, we transform it, and then load it in the uh, output uh, table. Let's run this example, ETL02. Uh, okay, and now let's take a look and see what we have here. We have the table in with the values, which are 1 and 7, and in table out we have, as expected, a warning for 1 and an error for 7. As you can see, it's, uh, it's very easy to, to do such operations uh, using Scriptella. Now, there are other demo files as well. We do not have time to go uh, today to go to each one of them. Again, download them from the uh, Kubrick website and, uh, and you will find some more examples ab about um, using Scriptella together with um, Kubrick. Now, uh, Remember, you can ask for uh, support on, uh, on our website, uh, in our uh, community uh, forums. We hope you enjoyed and found uh, useful this um, presentation we had today about how to use the Scriptella with Kubrick. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Uh,